Oh, okay. Hello. I'm going to try again. This is try number three. It's 7.50 a.m. It's really important that I accomplish this in a timely manner, although I find that this is nearly impossible with the noise and the gas. And I, I'm just at my wit's end. So let me try to do this, okay, without, of course, without saying anything about the house that I left and walked out from, which I'm frustrated, but let's stay on point. So we obviously know I took the garbage out from the house located at 1509 S Street Northwest. I walked out the front door of 1509, but we can't talk about anything a witness while I was in here. Okay? Still can't. <sighs> okay. I go down s street i'm feeling fine i know this because i do this so much okay i leave the house after being here with gas i know i'm fine in the fresh air i mean my god i've done this so many times we can just bypass making comments or statements or arguing that point we we have made that clear it is founded that when i go outside it's nice and fresh air feeling great Fine and dandy. So I go down that street, fine and dandy. I'm stretching my neck. I'm feeling good. I'm outside. I know there's scumbags, but at least I'm outside. I'm feeling really good. I want to emphasize this to the T. I go down 15th towards the alley. I'm fine, dude. I'm just doing my regular route. I make sure that I don't trip on the cart because I tripped one time. I'm fully attentive and acute. You know my feet, my head, my ground, where I'm standing, because I don't want to trip on this huge um, crate. Oh, might as well mention, it was packed full of garbage, cat litter. It was heavy. The crate, the wheelie cart that I use, and it was packed on top of that full of tons of recycling. So I had a full cart. So I'm fully aware. I'm focused on my mission to the alley, which is no fun. And this is exactly the evidence to why the alley is living hell. <sighs> so I turn, I go down 15th and I turn in the alley. I make sure I don't fall down or stumble because I have before with really, really packed, heavy crate. I stumbled once and I never forgot it. So I'm very aware, you know, and feeling good and healthy going down and I, I cruise keep cruising with my really heavy crate right towards the trash bins to the garage right outside of 1509 S Street Northwest. I'm looking at the garage and I'm looking at the bins. I see that the city trash, disposable trash, waste, green bin is on its side and it's way over by 1513. Oh, excuse me, I misquoted. But anyways, you got the point. Okay, it's off property line. So I see that as I'm approaching, I see that the blue city recycling is still right there, right in front of the garage of 1509. So I'm making my plan where I'm gonna put the disposable. I have to go get it, pull it back towards the property, so on and so forth. Okay, this is how good and healthy and fine I was. <sighs> the moment I approach the garage, I'm standing right outside the garage area in the alley. I'm in the alley is when I almost buckled over and had to pee poo again. And so since I'm aware that I have to go pee poo, I'm like, what is wrong with me? And I had these thoughts. I thought, did this gas they're using cause sickness out here? Now I was, I, I had a gigantic cart. So I was in the alley for a handful of minutes to process many thoughts and to observe and experience what was happening in the alley. So that was one of the thoughts I had when I started to be hit with the same chemical gas in the alley that I've been hit with in this house, which is so sickening. I thought at first it was me, which is a natural thought you think okay, no, I'm sick this time. They've made me sick. And then it kept getting stronger. And it was exactly the same as when it's inside of this house. The air gets really tight. 
It's like hard to breathe. The air is thicker and tighter, how I've said. Um, and your intestines are just so sick. I've described it, so we're going to bypass every last detail to that. And you're holding in all this diarrhea out of nowhere, all of a sudden. As soon as I walked up to the garage and I'm grabbing the trash bin. So I then I thought, no, you're just fine. You know you're healthy. And then I thought, it's not me. And then I thought, as I'm standing there, puzzled, I looked behind me, around me. I'm looking at my perimeter. There's nobody in the alley. I'm in the alley alone. It's broad daylight. There's a taxi cab that passed me. On my way to the alley, there's hardly any traffic. And there was a female. She looked like she was Armenian or some sort of Eastern European older woman with gray hair. I don't have to describe her. Okay, she was walking towards me as I was turning towards 15th. There wasn't a lot of people on the sidewalk or heavy vehicle traffic. And I'm assessing this as I'm standing there with this huge cart of trash that I'm disposing of into the bins. So my next thought was, is this gas out here? Are they using that chemical gas out here? And then my next thought was, as I'm still standing in this gas, yes, this is the Navy gas because it kept getting sicker. I kept getting sicker and sicker and sicker out of nowhere, standing there trying to do the trash. I was so sick the entire time I stood outside by those bins. You can go look at the bins now where I put them and what I put in them. The entire time. The Navy, U.S. Navy chemical gas is in the alley in this area. I don't know how it functions outdoors, but it's so fucking strong out there. I was holding in the diarrhea while I was in there, and I had all these bags I had to get out of the cart. So I did my mission, okay? I put it away in the garbage. I t I knew at that point, by the time I was done, after my brain processed every possibility and my body was showing me what was happening, that, you know, you, it wasn't the sickness, your body's sick. No, no, no. You are getting exposed to something again because you can tell how sick you get sicker and sicker and sicker and, and all the stuff, okay? I tried to cover it now, some of the, 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 the obvious factors. I just tried to cover it, Okay. And I'm, now I'm at the point where I'm like, oh, shit, they've got the gas in the alley. Oh, shit, they're using the chemical gas outdoors now. And then as I was putting away the garbage and closing the lids on the bin, I said, OK, Heidi, it's chemical gas. It's military grade. It's for outdoors. It's for indoors. It was only a matter of time before they used it outside. All you said for a year is they were going to use it outside on people. It's been on your account in plain written statements. You are in it now. That's what I said. I closed to myself, my thoughts. I closed the garbage bins, recycling and trash. Okay. And I scooted away with a very light and mobile and empty cart with wheels as soon as I was oh by the way I can't talk about anything else I witnessed in the alley just to mention that as soon as I was towards that white house on the corner of the alley and 15th all the symptoms were gone remember how I say in this property and when I'm inside of this property 1509 that if I can get away from the gas, I'm feeling better, presto, in a matter of seconds. Well, that's what I did. But I did it outdoors this time. There is no gas on 15th. There is no gas on S Street. There is chemical military gas in the alley. And they're filling up the area 
right outside my trash bin. That was another question I was asking myself out there. How does this function? How far does this gas go? I answered some of it when I walked away because I had walked to and I walked away. It doesn't seem to have gone to the corner, but I was sick until I got away from it. It's the exact same gas they're using in here. Oh, phew, hands down. Don't need to analyze in any of that. It's the same gas. Um, and so I come back and I'm walking and I'm feeling fine now. I'm super healthy. When I come back to S and 15th, that same Eastern European woman was still standing there. Just hanging out on the fucking corner. She's an obvious pilgrim type Eastern European woman, older. It was so obvious. It's such bullshit here, these people in the city, Washington, D.C. So, so when she sees me coming back, she does something even more obvious. It was laughable, but I'm not allowed to report what she did. I'm only allowed to report that she was still there and I saw her again. And I walk back and I go down S Street. I'm feeling perfectly fine. I know how this gas works. I'm fine and dandy at that point. I know it was gas in the alley. I'm blown away. I'm stunned. I'm feeling fine. <sighs> yeah. I guess that's all I can tell people that the gas, some of, some of the military grade gas that they are now using on the sidewalk, if you can get a good hunt, I don't know how many feet that is. Let's just say three. 300 feet away from it, you won't drop dead.